Hello everyone, today we are at Blair Drummond Safari Park. So Blair Drummond Safari Park is about 30 miles outside of Edinburgh. You can see it's got quite a lot of animals in it. now where you get the opportunity if they let you as in the animals let you have a little pet of some of them this is true <laughs> oh, oh look there's an animal over there having a poo <laughs> is that alpaca poo pony. is that a Shetland pony I think so caution ponies move out donkeys here as well are you scared of it? No, I just don't want to disturb it. It's having its breakfast. Fair enough. And a couple of alpacas. Fighting over the same bit of grass for some random reason. We <laughs> <laughs> used to have little pellets. Remember you could feed them? Yeah, I haven't seen any uh, pellets anywhere. Yeah, actually they probably have no control over how much food they were getting. They are on specially controlled diets. So do not feed the animals. Also known as they got fat. <laughs> yeah. Pygmy goats. <laughs> the cutest little face. Hello, I see you. You want him paid? <laughs> is that nice? We shall call him Winston. <laughs> Winston is my best friend. Me and Winston. Kirsten's getting plenty of time to pet the goats. Me and Winston. Winston, We're sorry. Hanging out here. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. That doesn't look like an oh, alpaca. Oh, Winston's cheating on me already. <laughs> oh no. Winston. Winston's already found love in someone else. Kirsten has already lost the love of Winston. He's cheating on me. <laughs> you can adopt the animals here at Blair Drum and Safari. You know, you can donate money and then you get your name up on the wall and uh, you help contribute to the upkeep of these animals. And years ago, I adopted uh, a llama for Kirsten, and we came, and she named it Patrick. Not officially. Like, it's not like you can actually name the animal. I just decided that it was called Patrick. Yes, the same, <laughs> the same way she just decided that goat was called Winston. And Patrick is behind us. It's always the light one. See if I can get zoomed in on Patrick. Here he is. Patrick. Kirsten has pointed out that this crow here is taking fur off this llama, probably for its nest. Look, he's going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a hole in it, you can see, so every time it rolls it, a little treat falls out so that they can forage for their food. Oh, oh. There we go, Yay. see? Every time it rolls it, and Winston in the background <laughs> there, every time the cunny pig rolls it, some more treats fall out. So we've come up to the tiger viewing platform right now and the tiger is way over there having a little snooze on the ground going over to its sleeping pal Over behind us over there behind Kirsten is um, a barbecue area so if you want you can bring your own stuff to barbecue and behind us here there's a big play area for kids and there's rides and there's climbing frames and all these sort of things as well we're going to go right to the second half of the park now. Giraffe. Giraffe. Here we have a walkway so you get a good observation of where the cars drive through because over here we have lions. So the lions sitting up here looking down on the cars. And then over here we have the female lions all chilling. Lionesses? Yes, that's the word. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't remember what they were called. I was like, the lady lion. Probably enjoying the sun. Yeah. 
And he's got all his little friends down here. Turn the camera on because this lion has started. Whoa! Oh my goodness! <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> Look at the size of the horn. I know. And that is still in zoos, they do not have to have security and stuff in case people yeah. try and get the horns off. Yeah, 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 they do. Oh, look at that wee face. Now, if a rhino isn't the closest thing you can get to a dinosaur, I don't know what it is. <laughs> and next door to the rhinos, we're going into the elephants. elephants. So we came at the end of an area of the elephants. feeding station. The ants come in on the rope here. I don't know if you can see with the shadows, but see they're coming in on the rope. They're getting bits of the plant. They're going out. So they come out and they go on the rope. They travel all the way along there and then they go to their nest. So that's quite, look at the length of that for them. Go back and forth. They're all traveling and carrying lots of bits of leaf. Back to Focus the ball back to their nest. <laughs> Look at this tiny wee one with the tiniest bit of leaf you've ever seen. See it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm helping. I'm helping. <laughs> I've got a, a leaf. Look out, coming through. Leaf. Excuse me. That is the smallest leaf he's got compared to all the other. I know. <laughs> he's learning. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're going into Lima Land. There's rules. No smoking. Rules of Lima Land. Children must be under supervision. No food or drink. No touching. Keep to the paths. No buggies or prams beyond this point. And here we come. The ringtail lemurs. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? They're all hugging together over there. It's actually quite hard to tell how many ring-tailed lemurs are huddled together there. Yeah, I can see five heads. One, two, three, four, five, yep. Five heads, but only one tail. Oh, very vocal. You want to climb under the fence, pal? Look at that, see they can come right out. Go across the path. And then straight into the other area. They're all just wandering down the path. So we have some Somali sheep here who are doing what sheep do. Eating grass. Barbara. Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the size of you. He is gorgeous. Huge. snuck into the sheep enclosure. Oh, Lima. Which one's which? Because that one's more, it's got bigger gaps between its spots, so it's more white in colour. So it would either be, oh no, I think it's that one, because if you look at spots kind of break off. You know what I mean? Yeah, smooth. yeah, yeah, they're not exactly so smooth. Nubian, Nubian. Nubian, Nubian. And then that one's different because this spots are lighter. All four of them are. Well, no, those two are kind of similar. Yeah. Those two are the same. Hard to tell though. And that one is the lesser known ostrich <laughs> uh, giraffe he right there. He dreamed of being a giraffe. He's like, one day. One day I could be a giraffe. Okay, we're about to go into the animal reserve, which is where you drive through all the animals. Oh, look, a wild man. Here we have a rhino. And as long as he doesn't start to speed up towards us. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's coming over. His way, so I'm oh, going to start moving. No. <laughs> oh. oh, 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 What's happening here? Oh, run, run, run. Here we have some zebras. 
Zebras. Zebra, zebra. Oh, look at the horns. Zebras don't have horns. No, this guy. Coming up next, we have the lion in reserve. <laughs> in reserve. I meant to say enclosure. And these are African lions. It's enough. We don't want to open the windows in here because actually, Tony, you should lock the doors. Just in case. <laughs> in case a lion learns how to open You don't know. <laughs> so, in here, we saw, and I can see in the distance the lion sitting on top of his big thing there, which means we have the female li the lioness. <laughs> the female lion. Oh, some of them look quite young actually. Yeah, yeah, they do. Like, that one looks like a male. See the one putting his head yeah, down? Yeah, 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 definitely. He looks like he's going to grow up to be a male. It's got the lionesses, and then over here. We've got the big male who we heard roaring earlier on, right on top of his like little tower there, because obviously he's in charge, he's the big boss. You see up here the workers have got the little observation decks, they're obviously in control of the gates opening and closing. It says here, warning, monkeys will climb on your vehicle and may cause damage, you have been warned. Out feeding them, oh if she's feeding them we might actually see quite a few coming out for some food. Oh, see them coming out of the houses over there? Yeah, which probably means our car's quite safe. Because there's food. Because there's food on the go. Food on the go, I see them there and the ladies chucking the food out and they're all coming over. This one's coming right <laughs> down the road. Excuse me Mr Monkey. <laughs> I <laughs> sat in the road. <laughs> I guess we'll just have to wait until you move. He's not moving. It's like, nope. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> He's not got a care in the world. <laughs> Here we have deer. And oh, look at the baby drinking from it. Yeah, mummy. someone's having a drink. Hello. And that's us now heading home. It was a fun day out. Hey guys, well that's us back home from a good day of Blair Drama Safari Park. A couple we stole a little lion. <laughs> Roar. <laughs> a couple of things we forgot about. They do do sea lion shows and bird and prey shows throughout the day. We just never got the chance to go to any of them. But if you enjoyed that, please do press like on this like button. Uh, remember to leave a comment down below if there's anywhere else you want us to go take a look at. Um, you can subscribe. <laughs> That's Neville. <laughs> you can subscribe right here. And if you want to see us at Butterfly World in Edinburgh, you can do right here. Till next time. Bye, bye humans. Bye.